Ladies and gentlemen, please turn to page 17 in your souvenir program. If you have the program autographed by Wildman Manahan, you are entitled to ringside seats at the regional championship matches to be held right here next month. on too soft a mattress, Billy. Please, don't start with me again. Hey, what happened to the Lizard Brothers? The Lizard Brothers are ancient history. All those green scales, the ears, it just wasn't us. You guys got an image problem. Wrestling's more than just strength and moves. It's down to a marketing science now, guys. Think about it. Andre the Giant, without the name, he's just some tall guy. <laughs> Look, Marty, they do have one fan. We got a full house out there tonight, boys. 25,000 paying customers, and they want their money's worth. Don't worry, Marty, we'll give it to them. You don't honestly think you can beat the Samurai Brothers, do you? Well, we're sure going to give it our best shot. You can count on that. Well, that's what I like about you fellas, you scrappers. Now, you go out there and take it to them. Leona, we have to go down to ringside. Oh, you go ahead, darling. I'm going to powder my nose. Well, maybe I should wait for you. Well, oh, but don't be silly. I need you at our feet. Poor Marty. That lady, what a piece of work. <laughs> Excuse me, boys. May I have a word with you? Sure, Mrs. Lewis. Oh, please call me Leona. After all, we're all friends, aren't we? Tonight's not your night, boys. I beg your pardon? I mean, I doubt that you could beat them anyway. I just want to make sure the Samurai Brothers win tonight and you lose. I think you got the wrong idea. Rick and I have a good shot at the title soon. We've always wrestled to win. And we always will. No, you have the wrong idea. You lose tonight, or you lose permanently. You'll never wrestle again. Marty will have something to say about that. That won't matter to Marty. You know how jealous he can be when he finds out you two have been making advances towards me. That's a lie! And who do you think Marty's going to believe? A couple of wrestlers or his devoted wife? Mrs. Lewis. Leona, come on. You wouldn't do that, would you? Wouldn't I? Ask Tyrone the Terrible. Tyrone? He's been barred for life. He can't even get near a wrestling ring. Then I think we understand each other, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. A no-holds barred, one ball, one hour tag team matchup. Featuring the undefeated tag team hailing from Osaka, Japan, and managed by the unpredictable Mr. Saki. With the combined weight of 445 pounds, the terrifying Tojo, and the unpredictable Soji, the Samurai Brothers. And tonight's challenger, hailing from San Diego, California, and Glasgow, Scotland, with a combined weight of 485 pounds, we are proud to present the tag team of Billy the Bloody Youngblood and Tricky Rick McDonald. All right, this capacity crowd awaits the start of this tremendous matchup. Let's quickly explain the rules. There can only be one man from each team in the ring at the same time. When two members of the team are in the ring simultaneously, the illegal man has a five pound to get back outside the rope or risk being disqualified. A pinball or submission is the only way you can win this match.
I can't believe Marty actually believed her. Hey, love is blind. Look, Billy, I'm sorry. You're sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I think we're both sorry. Ten years in professional wrestling, you know, I think when the Leonas of the world start throwing their weight around, maybe it's time to move on. But wrestling's what we do. It's what we did. The Leona set us up. The Marty Hardest for life. It's got kind of a ring to it, doesn't it? Hard for life. Look, Rick. Marty always liked you more. You could talk to him. Let him blame everything on me. You could wrestle as a single or hook up with someone else. I don't want to hold you back. Give me a break. We're still a team partners, right? Right. Got any idea how this team's gonna pay the rent next month? William, 
I always come up with something, don't I? Come on, Joey. Push! Yeah. Well, how about it? You pull! This is the best job we could get. Hey, on short notice, I think I did okay. Sure, you're on top. What, you want a company car and an expense account? What? On my back. It's locked. Look out! Find anything yet? No. You want a grape? No. What's the matter? What's the matter? We're unemployed, we can't pay the rent, and I've been barred for life. I can't take it anymore. I was somebody as tricky Rick McDonald, half a great pro wrestling tag team. I was somebody. Who am I now? Billy, who am I now? You're Rick McDonald. You're anyone you want to be. You're my best friend, you're my roommate, and you're making me depressed. So why don't you go back to thinking, okay? Let's open up a school. A school? A wrestling school. To become a professional wrestler. Now picture it. Billy and Rick's House of Pain. Put your name first. Get real. Champions do that sort of thing when they retire. Face it, we lost a few times. Yeah, but we work steady. I'm gonna find us another job. No, no. I'll find the next job. Hey. You wanna work with women? this working with women? Careful. Protect yourself. Don't be a victim. Use your power. They'll That's use you. That's what the agency you. told me. You. Is it too late to quit? Women of the world! Defend! How much we getting paid for this? Not enough. Stop going, lady. Let go, Malay! 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 It was nice of that woman's group to pay us, even though we wouldn't do the second class. Nice of them not to kill us. Do you need anything else? No. Nah. I need some grapes. Okay. Clean up on aisle three. Right stick on two, please. Empty it now. All of it. I'm trying. I'm trying. You got a problem? No. You do. Either you leave her alone or I'm going to separate your head from the rest of your body. <laughs> You 
hurt my friend. You're kidding. He's a friend of yours? You should have told me. I mean, I really blew it, didn't I? All this time here, I figured he was somebody else. <laughs> Another guy. Much uglier. Much uglier than you. I love shopping. Go, oh, guys! Enough with the pity! Let's get out of here! Come on. Come on, where? They got guns. I don't like guns. Come on. Remember the high flyers? guys with? With? I thought you said they're on our side. I thought you guys were undercover. They are on our side. They fight the forces of evil. They're wrestlers. It's Billy the Body, Youngblood, and Tricky Rick McDonald. I used to see him at the arena all the time. But you guys are great. You did all of this, um, unarmed? No big thing. These guys were lightweights compared to the Sam Frank brothers. Well, it's too bad you're not cops. You will be tested physically, you will be tested psychologically, you will be tested academically, and above all, you will be tested by me. Certain individuals in this class have been pre-selected for non-uniform and undercover assignments, should they graduate. But don't let the long hair and the beard mislead you. Take a look at the person next to you. One of you will not be here by the time this class graduates. Some of you will wash out by the end of the week. And you know why? Because I'm going to make sure of it. Today's police force is an efficient, highly technical organization with no room for the individualist, the malcontent, or the iconoclast. It's my job to weed out all such individuals. All right, let's fall out and stretch. We're going to run five miles. Wait, don't tell me. The circus is in town, right? Yeah, and I'm the human cannonball, can't you tell? You clowns don't really think you're gonna make it here, do you? We're gonna give it our best shot, same as you. Yeah? Well, I say she busts you out of here. Did I say chat or stretch? That'll cost you 50, Tyler. Now. There's always one in every class. I read your applications, guys. You're here to do the work. You're serious? Good. But if this is some kind of... Spandex wrestler, adolescent hormone driven fantasy goose that wastes my time. I'll drop kick the pair of you right out of the ring. Concrete floor and all. Nice to know she follows the sport. Come on, now slow down. This isn't the Olympics, you know. Take it easy, please. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, guys. Can we take a boat on this, please? Oh, no, Max! Oh, oh. Come here. Come on.
not going for a ride. Now, what are you doing? You are bad. Relax. Put the gun away. I don't trust these guys. No sweat. Looks pretty high to me. Now, all cadets must complete the obstacle course. All cadets must finish in the designated time. All cadets, go! <laughs> Remember the rockers aerial attack? Shoe like that. Navy SEAL team. They taught you well. Those were two undercover narcotics officers you saw go down the hard way last night. You recognize any of them? Take your time. We can't afford any mistakes here. Those were the men in the garage. Which ones, ma'am? Um, number three and six. Now, you're going to have to identify them in open court. But then they're going to know who I am. The department will provide 24-hour protection. Well, then I am in danger. Let's just say we don't want to take any unnecessary chances. <laughs> well, then who's going to protect me? The police? Now, don't you worry about a thing, Miss Valentine. We're putting the best men possible on this. Yeah, us. not gonna make it, man. Sure you will. Just concentrate. It's not happening. I just can't remember this stuff. I barely made it through high school and I'm not gonna make it through the academy either. You just gotta relax. You've been doing just fine. Sure. When you help me, I do fine. But tests... I 
I've just never been any good at tests. Rick, who are the biggest wrestlers to ever get in the ring? Hunter the Giant, 7'4", Shoei Baba, 7'2". Heaviest. Haystack Calhoun, 608. Most popular wrestlers today. Hulkster, Ultimate Warrior, Jake the Snake. Why? What's the point, man? Procedure when arson is suspected. Notify field liaison, Detective HQ, Fire Department, arson section. Support services reports to? Central Administration. So what? So you're gonna do just fine, Val. <laughs> street is that they have a witness a professional dog walker female you guys blew away those two narcs right in front of her put the word out ten thousand dollars for the whereabouts of this lady What do you think, Officer McDonald? Piece of cake. After you, Officer Youngblood. Don't tell me. Man, what a dance floor. This place is a traffic floor. Business must be good. Looks like we started recruiting from clown camp. All rookies look like that. The fellas look just swell. Guys, you got a sign here too, huh? I don't believe it. What luck? Yeah, all bad. Ah, uh, don't worry, about it, fellas. Just follow my lead. I'll take care of you. Oh, that's reassuring. Oh, whole week is over, gentlemen. Time to go to work. Lieutenant Stapler? Not anymore. Promotions came out yesterday. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am Captain Steckler, your new watch commander. First order of business, witness protection. Hatch, Harrigan, take young Blood and McDonald with you. Break him in. Plain clothes? That's great. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Five more years till retirement. <laughs> oh, she'll be guaranteeing this information. With your life, stay in touch. 1110 Ridgewood. That's where the cops have her. I'm sure you know what to do. Don't worry, Mr. Riker. That lady will never talk. Let's go. think you're doing? Just checking things out again. You see me checking things out again? 
No. You see me reading the paper, keep it a low profile. Oh, you never believe it. I caught this one checking the closets for bad guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, if I was going to break in, first thing I would do is go hide with the brooms. They're rookies. Give them a break. Closets? <laughs> now, that's rich. So you got the sports? Yeah. I want to check out what the fish are doing. Oh. Excuse me. Shouldn't we be keeping watch? Fellas, relax. We are keeping watch. Hey, maybe you could go patrol, you know, check out upstairs. Yeah. It's us, Rita. Come in. about this address, Mr. Riker? I mean, it doesn't look like much. We don't want to bust in and knock off Ozzy and Harry, you know. Well, maybe you'd rather spend the next 15 years in prison. No, no. We just want to be sure. It cost me 10 grand to be sure. Now get off the phone and do your job. Okay, I want you guys to tell me. Now, how exactly did you become cops? I mean, you don't seem like those other cops. The short answer is we're not sure where we belong. So we figured we'd give this a try. Well, I'll tell you, a good job can really become a part of you. I mean, it did for me. You know what I do sometimes? I'll go down to the city pound, and I'll find this little dog that nobody wants. Now, I, I can't afford to keep it, but I'll take it around with me for a few days, and I'll tell each of my customers that this dog chose their dog as a new friend. Maybe it's not fair, but it works. Anyway, so this new little dog gets a new friend, and the other dog gets a home. <laughs> That's great. It is, isn't it? I mean, everybody needs some place to belong. Yeah, same as us. I'll tell you guys, I'm a little scared. Everybody can be scared. Even we are sometimes. Who the hell is that? It's only the mailman. Why are we getting mad? There's a car in the driveway. It'll look suspicious if we don't open the door. All right, see what he wants, but you be careful.
Let's get out of here. We've got till 3 o'clock to produce a witness, or we lose the indictment. How's Sergeant Hatch? His vest caught most of the load. He's banged up pretty bad, but he'll be okay. Did these two back you properly? Did they or didn't they? Truthfully, Captain, I don't know. I got knocked out by the mailman. All I do know is that my partner was hurt, and our witness got away. Now, I'm not a bad I, I don't want to point a finger and nail two rookies just to get myself off the hook. Captain, we did our job right. Maybe you did. I just can't afford to be wrong again. Harrigan, it's yours. Anybody you want, you turn this town upside down. Find her. You two. This is not the kind of first day cops dream about. For your own good and to cover my butt, you're both on suspension pending the outcome of all this. But Captain, we... I'm covering your butt, too. Let's go, Harrigan. You've got to get to her before those cop killers do. We did good, Billy. I don't care what anybody says. We did good. I know. I'm just worried about the bureaucracy and all. We're going to get caught in the pinch and get our heads squeezed off. Well, maybe we weren't cut out to be cops. Maybe when it comes down to the crunch, we just don't have what it takes. What are you saying? Well, maybe there's something between this and wrestling. Maybe, maybe we could be ranch hands. What are you talking about? Rita's out there somewhere. She's scared and somebody's trying to kill her. I really like this job. It's really starting to feel like we're fitting in. Good. <laughs> I mean, everybody needs a place to belong, huh? That's it. Now, Billy, the ranch ant thing's really a lame idea. No, 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 no. You and me need some place to belong. We're like a couple of lost puppies. And I'll bet I know where Rita is. Guys! Congratulations. First day on duty, you made the front page. Uh, is this your car? We need to give someone a ride. No way. It's the deputy chiefs. Why do undercover cars look more like cop cars than cop cars? I deliver it downtown at 4. Perfect. That's just where we're going. Billy, you drive. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What are you doing? Okay, but I'm coming with you. Okay, take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Don't hit anything. Just don't hit anything. Relax, Tyler. We're professionals. Hey, it's 2.30. Let's do it. Nice pickup, huh? You messed up the deputy chief's car. It's gonna look really bad on your record. Nah, we're on suspension. We're not even cops right now. How could it look bad on our record? Technically, we may have stolen this car. Well, uh, I think it was given up by an officer in the strict dereliction of his duty. If I hit anything, it's gonna look really bad on your record. Look out, look out, look out. There's a car coming. Watch the other one. Get... You guys are crazy! There it is, Billy. Hang on. I'll park it. We'll be right back. Happens all the time to these street dogs. You mean he's got no place to live? You could take him. Yeah. I've been thinking we need a dog. Especially a... a brown dog. There's people waiting for you downtown. Oh, come on, you guys. It doesn't really matter. Not true. It does matter. Will you guys go with me? 
You bet. We've got to be there in 12 minutes. It's important, Rita. just called Steckler. She'll be waiting for us. Let's hope that's all that's waiting for us. Rita, this is Tyler. Does she know you stole the deputy chief's car? Maybe we should call for a backup. An escort to bring us in? Too many cops will just point out who we are. We'll be all right. Okay, the obvious thing will be for us to use the rear entrance, right? So we'll keep everybody off guard and go right in through the front. It's tactics, guys. Forget tactics. There's the courthouse. Pull over here. Come on, Rita, stick close to us. Come on, they'll be looking for us. How long have you guys said you've been cops? Well, actually, this is our first case. Very funny. Here they are. Come on, we've got three minutes to make it. And they've got three minutes to stop us. Let's hustle. Move it, Tyler. Before. Get her inside. Hey, but what about them? We gotta book them. They're all yours. Nice job, men. Thanks, Captain. Now we'll take it from here, guys. Thanks. I think they can handle it. Hey, but Captain, she's our detail. After you, gentlemen. Tag Team will continue in a moment. Rick, you want to get that? Oh, hi. How you doing? I'm doing just fine. Now, Billy, a deal's a deal, right? 
Yeah. What's up? <laughs> I guess he's feeling better. <laughs> Whoa, he's not hungry, is he? <laughs> you know, he's going to need a name. I think he's already got one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Body slam. <laughs> <laughs>